A very warm welcome to you all. Thank you so much for joining us this morning at the first official press conference being held by the President of the 68th Session of the UN General Assembly, His Excellency, Mr. John W. Ash, who will be briefing you on the theme, the priorities, the high-level week, along with other key elements surrounding the 68th Session. After briefing you, the President will be happy to take your questions, so do kindly offer him your name and your media affiliation before posing your questions. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Afav Kanja and I am the spokesperson. So please feel free to contact me with any media inquiries you may have throughout the year. We'd like to inform you that this press conference is also being offered in French and Arabic interpretation. And if you have not already done so, please go ahead and pick up one of our press kit cards as this is your gateway to our digital press kits where you can find everything you need to know on the President and on the 68th session online. And for this, we'd like to acknowledge our very talented friends over at the Department of Public Information, DPI, and of course, over at the Department of General Assembly and Conference Management. And certainly to our President for his vision and for signing off on this project, because this takes us one step further to being more sustainable. So with that, and without further ado, I give you the President of the 68th Session of the United Nations General Assembly. Your Excellency, the floor is yours. Good morning. Welcome to day one of the 60th session. Many of you are veterans of this process, but just in case there are any novices out there, um, the session begins officially this afternoon at 3 p.m. in the General Assembly Hall, which because of the capital master plan will be in the North Lawn Building. The traditional General Assembly Hall is close to renovation. So at 3 p.m. I will open the session. I will make a short statement and I'll be followed by the Secretary General and he too will make a statement. In my statement, I will of course ask delegations once again to focus on the theme that I outlined when I was elected on June 14th. And for the record, um, that um, theme is the post-2015 development agenda setting the stage. For those of you who were there on that day, you would recall that I also indicated that I would um, convene three high-level events and um, three thematic debates to give member states an opportunity to flesh out ideas um, on a variety of issues that I believe ought to be included in any development agenda. And again, for the record, those um, high-level events and um, thematic debates are women, the young, and civil society. That's one of the high-level events. A second high-level event, human rights and the rule of law. And a third has to do with South-South cooperation and ICT for development. In all three cases, it's, the intent is not to have a debate for debate's sake, or an event for an event's sake. We're looking at how these elements can contribute to any post-2015 development agenda. So the goal is to have a focus high level event in each case and identify inputs to a future post-2015 development agenda. I've also called for three thematic debates. Um, one has to do with the role of partnerships and a second, um, I would like to know how stable and um, peaceful societies can contribute to development. And finally, some environmental elements, namely water, sanitation, and sustainable energy, how they contribute, how they can contribute to the post-2015 development agenda. As you know from experience, 
the General Assembly has a fairly extensive agenda and there are a number of issues which roll over from year to year. One has to do with reform in general and more specifically Security Council reform. This has been an issue that has been with us for quite some time as all my predecessors, certainly those of the last 20 years or so, is my intent to take up this matter and see how we can literally move the needle a bit on this reform. Um, in the, on this particular issue, there are no shortage of ideas. In fact, there are quite a few on the table, um, many um, ideas. What we have so far as an assembly failed to achieve is a consensus on what um, Security Council reform would look like. Um, so it's my intent to take up this matter with member states and see how we can advance the discussions a bit at least. Let me sort of conclude there and allow you to ask me any specific questions related to what I've just said. Thank you very much. So, uh